Hey, Pinell County, Deputy Chief Matt Hedrick here. We're here at the Adult Detention Center, and I'm joined today by Detention Officer Alan Slee, and we're here with another episode of Behind the Bars. Well, today we're going to be talking a little bit about fireball intake. A lot of times there's a lot of stuff that happens before the inmate even gets to our facility. Let's take a look at this video here, and Alan, why don't you walk us through it? We got a call ahead of time, and uh, they were like, hey, you got a female that will be combative when you get there. We pulled her out of the car, and she was just running her mouth and not being actively combative. But we took the cuffs off, and we found out differently. So uh, we come to find out that she and her uh, companion had been consuming alcohol, and he had been consuming beer, but she had been consuming um, a little fireball whiskey. I ended up escorting this, uh, <clears throat> this lady over to the body scanner just to make sure that she didn't have any contraband within her body. Um, while doing so, she was very verbally aggressive. Uh, obviously, she had too much to drink, um, <laughs> too much fireball coming out of her. Uh, she, Ooh, she's pointing now. Yeah, she's pointing. She did not like us at all. She hated all of us. So, unfortunately, she kept moving, and we couldn't get a, a good read on her. So we had to redo it again. We told her, hey, cooperate, um, focus. That way we can <laughs> kind of get the uh, scanner going again. Uh, what do you think is going to happen? Like, like in your mind, what are you thinking? Okay, I think this is where it's going to go. I, I sure thought we were going to take her to the ground earlier. We finally got the scanner done. She got cleared from there. I go in to escort her, and at first she was resistant, so I, now we're escorting her over to the photo room, and, and oh, she took oh. a swing at me. Yeah. There she goes. Yeah, she's 4'11", and I'm 6'2". She took a, <laughs> took a swing. So at one point, I was like, all right, well, let's get her on the ground, and then we, we were like, no, keep her on the table. That's where it's best, uh, best to get control of her. Um, is that something you guys train for? Like, hey, let's get her to a wall, let's get her to a table rather than having to go down to the ground? Uh, yes and no. We get to, we're trained to wherever we get best control of that person, that, oh. that inmate. Um, whether it's a table, wall, or ground, where uh, officer safety wise. How long have you been with um, the adult detention center? I've been here for a little over a year. And tell us a little bit about what that looked like for you. like. You came from another agency, you'd already been through an academy? Yes. And so what was the training like coming here? Um, laddering over, I got retrained, a um, little bit of DT, but coming over here was a lot different where I came from, so bigger facility, a lot more inmates. And it looks like um, you're able to make your own decisions out there on the floor. Yep. That's what we try to empower you guys to do. Great job, Alan. We appreciate you being on the show. Put your application in. We're hiring. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Behind the Bars at Pinal County Sheriff's Office.